All right, let me get started with this question. Um, it says a boy rides his bicycle hmm, some distance. I'm not used to being given that information. Let me just say delta x and we'll sketch out the situation and see what it, where it goes. The wheels have some radius. What is the total angle the tire rotates through during this trip? Okay, uh, let me, so, you know, it's not clear to me exactly what formula you need to use. So let's just sketch it out. Sometimes in doodling, kind of sketching out the situation, um, uh, way to approach it kind of presents itself. So let me just draw the wheel, since that's the information that we are being given, and try to make a sense of that. So this wheel is going to rotate and travel some distance um, delta x. And I can just draw this not to scale. I don't have to. Um, so I'm imagining this wheel rotating. Uh, as it rotates, uh, you know, it, there are some interesting things to look at. Like the point of contact doesn't actually move. The way any rolling object moves is by changing the point of contact. So as this rolls through, you know, this point is being brought down here, this point is being brought down here, and so on. And imagine that this uh, um, wheel has reached this point. Then by that time, what will have happened is it will have um, all these different points will have come to contact with the ground at some point ending here. Let's say this is the point where it ended up. And um, all these points here, like uh, this is the point that where it was uh, starting out, and this is the point where it ended up at. I think I've sketched it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Uh, just rotate the shapes in your head. <laughs> so, um, so he, this is the delta x. So as you think through it, I hope you have. Um, um, the, this uh, intuitive connection that the distance that it travels that is going to be this is going to be the arc length on the um, wheel that corresponds to with the the amount of angular distance change and this angular distance change you can let it go past 2 pi and just keep wrapping around it doesn't have to stop at 2 pi so uh, once you identify this distance with arc length, then there's this beautiful formula that relates arc length of um, any um, like angular size using the radius of the circle. It's uh, um, um, the radius of the circle that the arc length is from times the angular displacement. It's a really simple formula, and I call it beautiful because this is uh, tied to the definition of radian itself. In fact, so radian is defined by taking the arc length and dividing by radius of the circle. So once you have realized that the distance that the by the wheel rolled through is the arc length, then you can equate that with this uh, formula for the arc length, and you can just solve for delta theta. That's equal to the distance that it rolled through divided by radius. So the only thing to be careful here is you're being given these numbers in different units. I'll make sure to convert them to basic SI unit meter as I'm plugging the numbers. So delta x, one kilometer, that's one times 10 to the power of three meters, divided by the radius of the wheel, 30 centimeters, that's 0 0.3 meters. Um, and that'll give me a number. And that'll be the angular displacement in radians. So I just put it in 333. Three, three. I can actually round it here and it'll be fine. Uh, with the three significant figures, you are guaranteed um, tolerance of less than, uh, rounding error over less than 1%, which is the tolerance the grading system uses. So. So that's it. It's a it's a relatively simple question, but I guess uh, maybe if you haven't seen this uh, geometric arrangement before, sometimes it can take a while to uh, think through this uh, geometry and um, hope you had time to think through it and that this makes sense. <laughs> and once it makes sense, the formula you use is really simple.